this tutorial I will talk about checkpoints. In Raising Game we have three different ways to use checkpoints. First of all, forcing the player to finish the track in given time. As example, you create a checkpoint at the finish line and give a initial amount of time. Razer must finish this game in given time. Second usage is capturing speed for speed trap race. And finally, capturing sector times for the track. There is no specific usage of the sector times in racing game yet, but you may want to display them after race screens like in standings or fastest sector time as in F1 to creating checkpoint system for your track it's start with the checkpoint container to create checkpoint container you can use raising game kit menu or just use the button in the race manager after creating checkpoints we just start creating our checkpoint items I will create one here for that press new checkpoint button as in waypoints or spawn point it creates to forward to um, Z axis of scene so we have to move and rotate actual place checkpoint items has a box collider as set as trigger it's created automatically you have to set this box collider with your track actually there should not be any space between track edges so I'm going to increase this value and oh, as I forget we have to align to surface first so I'm clicking the align to first surface it just aligned the track now just increase the height ok it covers all the track now our first checkpoint is created as you can see it's rotated to um, track 2 and as your game design you have to set initial time for this uh, checkpoint I think our player can reach this checkpoint in 30 seconds after um, passing this checkpoint I'm adding extra 25 seconds too and second checkpoint will be here so going to create an one align surface rotate and make it cover the road to reach this checkpoint in 30 seconds too and I will add additional 15 seconds to reach here and your final checkpoint shall be near the finish point so I'm going to add new one to here align surface and make it over the track you don't have to worry about the near the finish point because when the race start it should be past the first checkpoint first then second so it will not be problem if your checkpoint near the start point ok 
Okay. Mm, this was the um, setting for the checkpoint. If you want to change that uh, sector point, you just set uh, item type value to sector. And then now this will capture the sector time, and this time value will be available on Razer de Detail um, component. And also, you if you want to change it the um, capture speed, you can um, change item type to speed trap. So it will have a camera icon, and you will answer that this is a speed trap checkpoint. It will not give an any Im amount of time. That's it. See you next tutorial.